In this video, we will show you how to replace your starter on this Dodge Dakota. This will be located under the vehicle on the driver's side. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing that we'll do is use a 13 millimeter right over at the negative battery terminal. Once we have this loose, we can remove the terminal end from the battery. Remove the terminal from the battery, give it a quick inspection, and set it aside. All right, friends, now we can carefully make our way underneath the vehicle. We will be working next to our exhaust, so it's important to make sure that it's cool to the touch before you continue. Assuming that looks okay, make your way up through here and disconnect your wires. Let's start by removing the yellow wire. On this, you'll find that you have a plastic connector. Squeeze the tab and remove it. Give it a quick check for corrosion. Assuming that looks good, continue on to your larger wire. For this, you'll find that you have a 13 millimeter nut holding it in place. Remove that mounting nut. Remove that wire. We'll give it a quick inspection. We will be cleaning this in a minute, but for now, set it aside. Now we can move along to our two mounting bolts. Those will be located on the opposite side of the transmission bell housing. You'll find that you have one 15 millimeter bolt up high up here, and the other one's directly below it. We'll start by removing the top one first. Now we can move along to the lower bolt. Keep in mind, as you're removing this one, hold on to the starter. It's the last thing holding it to the transmission bell house. There we are. There it is, friends. Before we continue installing our starter, it's time to do a little cleaning. We'll start with the wire. You'll notice on the larger wire, you have the metallic tab that goes directly against the starter. It's important to make sure you clean both sides. There we are, we cleaned both sides as well as we could. Once you have that clean, continue on to paying attention to the transmission bell housing, where the starter is supposed to go. We wanna make sure this is a clean, smooth surface as well. Now we can install our starter. With that in position, we can start in each of our mounting bolts. Now that that one started on, I'll start on the top one as well. With both of them started, snug them up. Once they're both snug, torque them to 30 foot-pounds. Move along to reconnecting your positive battery wire to the starter.
Now we can torque this to 120 inch pounds. Let's reconnect this wire as well. Now we can make our way back up to the negative battery terminal. Reconnect it to the battery. Make sure you tighten your mounting nut. Double check to make sure it's tight. After this, you can go ahead and close the hood, start the vehicle. Assuming it starts, take it for a road test. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.